Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hariko Orchards. Uh, today I'm here in Tokyo in Kudanshita in Yaskuri Jinja, and they have a very famous mastery going on. It's a Lalten festival in Yaskuri Jinja. They have nearly 30,000 Lalten's around, but the weather is really horrible. It's been raining really hard since morning, but I was still here. You can tell from my hairs, I'm all bloody messed up, but I did make some videos and I do hope you will enjoy the video. So please do watch this video and enjoy it. Thank you. So basically Kudanshita is a neighborhood and a train station in Chiyodawad of central Tokyo. The station is served by the Toei Shinjuku, the Tokyo Metro Honzomon and the Tokyo Metro Tozai line. Um, it's a beautiful place. The places of interest in Kudanshita are Kitano Maru Park, Nippon, Budokan, Chidori Gafuchi, and Yaskuni Shrine. So right now we are walking towards the Yaskuni Shrine to see the famous festival. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Yaskuni Shrine. Uh, it is situated just three minutes walk from Kudanshita station on the opposite side of Kitano Maru Park and Yaskuni Shrine is dedicated to the spirits of the soldiers and others who died fighting for the Emperor of Japan. Uh, so it's always a very controversial place to be visited by the political leaders. Uh, let me show you a little bit of view of the city. As you can see, it's quite late in the evening. It's been raining a lot and People are returning back home after work or going shopping. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. And like I said before, Chidori Gafuchi is also quite popular. Uh, say hello to Philips. Uh, again, Chidori Gafuchi is a famous moat of the Imperial Palace. It's just five minutes walk from the shrine and it's really famous for the cherry blossom viewing spots uh, in Tokyo. So as we go downstairs, we are approaching the Yasukuni shrines main entrance and you can see some beautiful lanterns uh, it just says the name of the Matsuri so we are near the Yaskuri shrine you will soon see the main entrance to Yaskuni shrine it's a massive great uh, metal tori as you can see in the front is 22 meters high it's said to be the tallest in the country and it leads to the main Hoden, the main building, uh, surrounded by Kinko trees. Um, today we are not here to see the trees, but we are here to witness the amazing lanterns. So let's walk through the lanterns. Let me tell you a little bit about this Matsuri or the festival. Usually the hottest months of summers are traditionally when Japanese commune with and honor the spirits of the dead. The festival is called Obon, and one such festival based around this idea is the Mitama Matsuri, which we are here to witness today. And at, it is celebrated at Yasukuni Jinja, which is a politically controversial complex or shrine. So along the Sendo, uh, the main shrine is led by 30,000 lalitans, which are strung from towers of metal scaffolding to create a spectacular approach as you can see it looks really amazing it's raining but it's just serene it's just amazing and uh, you can see uh, there are some girls walking in their traditional summer uh, dress called yutaka uh, it comes in different vivid colors and it's just amazing it's very soothing to wear it it's made of basically cotton it's very light so when you ever go to a matsuri uh, it's very comfortable dress to wear so whenever you see any traditional events, ceremonies, festivals, hey, hi, yeah, you can see them wearing that traditional ryotaka and they just look beautiful in that. And as you can see, the lalitans are covered everywhere in this complex. It's just a mesmerizing view. So now we are walking towards a bronze statue. I'll tell you who that person is and why it's placed here. I'm sorry guys, I just realized uh, the traditional dress is actually called Yukata and I said Yutaka. 
sorry for mistake and this is the Shrek statue of Omura Masijiro he was the first minister of war after the Meiji restoration and it was erected in 1890 1896 and they have two huge lanterns honoring the army and the navy built in 1935 so again we are walking towards the main complex of the shrine and again all everywhere everywhere you look you will just see the beautiful lanterns and again you can see the traditional yukata not yutaka sorry yeah i hope you can see some more in the complex so you can see the colorful streamers which are beautifully decorated they just make this place look more beautiful so basically large scale Tanabata festivals are held in many places in Japan and you can see these colorful streamers mainly along shopping malls, streets and some shrines they just look amazing very colorful and especially when the wind is blowing they just wave around and it looks mesmerizing so right now I'm very close to the main shrine but just want to show you how beautiful these streamers look when the wind is blowing so the main shrine of uh, Yaskuni Jinja is the complex called Hoden if you have seen my other temple videos I've explained in it and this is the another second story of Yaskuni Jinja uh, you can see a lot of foreigners here today and they are here to witness this festival even though the weather is horrible it's been raining from last three four days and today is the second last day and people are trying to make the most of this bad weather uh, people basically are walking with umbrellas i'm totally soaked i can't use an umbrella because i'm recording can't use my two hands at the same time it's very difficult to control and balance the gimbal so now let's walk towards the main complex so let's go back to the history of Yaskuni shrine actually it is dedicated to the spirits of the soldiers and other who died fighting for the emperor of japan it was originally uh, built in 1869 by order of the meiji emperor to commemorate the victims of the Boshin war in 1879 it was declared as one of the principal shrines associated with the Shinto faith and the primary national shrine to commemorate Japan's war dead. That's why it's so controversial. It has been in controversy since 1979 when several Class A war criminals were enshrined here. Uh, visits to the shrine by cabinet members are always a cause of protest both at home and abroad so this is the main complex uh, people are lined up uh, to pray in front of it uh, same like other Japanese shrines uh, usually they will bow clap their hand twice and make their wishes or pay their devotion to the God and you can see uh, still here you have the small uh, lalatins so I will show you the other small lalatins uh, they are a bit small in size compared to the ones we saw in the main street so a lot of Japanese people come to this shrine as I told you it was founded in 1869 with the purpose of enshrining those who have died in war for their country Japan <coughs> and sacrifice their lives to help build the foundation for a peaceful Japan so basically the spirits of about 2.5 million people who died in Japan uh, not in Japan who died for Japan in the conflicts accompanying the Meiji restoration uh, in Satsuma rebellion uh, the first you know Japanese war the Russo Japanese war the first world war the Manchurian incident the second Sino Japanese war and the Pacific war are uh, enshrined at Yasukuni shrine in form of written records uh, with note name origin and date and place of death of everyone enshrined here so let me walk through this campus and show you how the other parts of the complex looks like people are taking shelter because it's raining heavily 
and I'll show you the other area. Actually, they are gonna have a event coming up soon uh, in another 30 or 40 minutes, I guess so. Um, but before that, let me tell you, um, today uh, is the second last day and usually they have a lot of traditional dance performance and drum performance and some other traditional instrument performances but because of the bad weather all those performances were cancelled so it's my bad luck i couldn't show you that but hopefully i'll come back here next year to try to record all those events and i will try to make another video next year also next to the shrine building stands the Yoshu Khan. It's a museum that commemorates Japan's war from a conservative Japanese perspective with much more information available in English. Uh, one day when the weather is good, I'll try to make a video about it too. But let's enjoy the lanterns. Uh, you can see uh, there are not many people around here just because of the bad weather but I'm lucky I came here because as I mentioned it only runs for four days and the weather is not gonna be got, get better so there is no chance we can come here on a nice day so let's just deal with it so basically in total they have 30,000 lalitans uh, out of which 10,000 are the larger lalitans uh, which lead to the approach to the main shrine which I showed you in the beginning of this video and these are the other 20,000 smaller ones which are set up inside the shrine in the inner shrine grounds So on these small lalitans usually people write their wishes and hang them inside the shrine as part of their tradition of the Mitama Matsuri uh, Very soon they're gonna have another musical performance so i'm trying to cover these lalitans and then head towards the area where we have the musical starting very soon actually uh, the japanese traditional style of singing is called kayakuku sorry i can't pronounce the name right but yeah they're gonna do some performance and what i heard from some guys uh, who are volunteering in the shrine they're gonna sing some special songs for Abe sorry just to pay him respect uh, let me tell you uh, it's a very controversial shrine as I mentioned and most political leaders would avoid coming to this shrine but Mr. Abe sorry was one of those leaders who always visited this shrine he was really attached with this shrine so basically there will be some uh, famous traditional singers coming up or they are already waiting to do the performance uh, the video gonna be a bit long because they're gonna perform for nearly one hour or ten minutes or so so I will put that uh, musical uh, event in a separate video it would be all in Japanese but if you just want to see how that sounds like you can check it out so this is the place as you can see a lot of puddles of water around because of the rain so these are some shirts where people are waiting for the performance to begin so I will also try to quickly wrap up this video so I can find some safer grounds to shoot the upcoming musical events. So I do hope uh, you enjoyed the tour of Mitama Matsuri before we close again those beautiful colorful streamers. Thank you very much. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm totally soaked, my shoes are full of water, I'm drenching literally, but I'm glad I came here, this was the last day of the Matsuri, the festival, but I did take some great pictures and some nice videos, so I hope you will enjoy this video, I'll be back with some other content, until then, take care of yourself, I'll see you soon, sayonara, bye bye.